Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here with Draco and we are going to unbox Venus next for Terraforming Mars, the new expansion from Jacob Frixelius and Frix Games. And you know, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go straight into the box here. I don't even wanna sit here and talk. I just wanna dive in here and take a look at it. Um, thing is, this was just uh, released at Essence Speed in Germany. And I managed to get a copy since Martin was there and doing his uh, reports. And so here we have what's in the box. So, not that much stuff, but it's cool stuff. So we have a new little marker because we're going to have a new board. Now I have I have played this actually. Uh, I played it once uh, with the um, with Enofrixilius at an event a month ago or so. And it was really cool to be honest. <laughs> so here we have new go. Oh, yeah, of course it's Stronghold Games. It's the publisher there as well, together with Fricks Games. And uh, okay, so that's one of the cards. And so uh, here we have the new cards, and this is the new corporations. And I'm going to play it's five of them. I'm going to play five solo playthroughs all all the way through, uh, just like I did earlier with the base game. I'm going to do it together. I'm going to do like Hellas and Elysium map. And I'm going to switch around between the, the playthroughs. And I'm going to play all these five uh, here uh, in the upcoming month. And I'm really looking forward to that. That, I just, that is just so much fun. All right, so let's uh, do some examples here of the new card show. First of all, we have a new tag, the Venus tag. That's really nice. And we also have something, a new resource called floaters. And like in this case, there's an action to add a floater to any card because there's other cards that can have floaters as well. Or spend one floater from this card to draw a card. So basically, if nothing else, you can spend one turn, uh, one generation, adding a, a cube here as a floater. And then the next generation, you can remove it to draw a card. I mean, I love drawing cards in this game, so that, that's awesome. And we have a new event here, Aerosport Tournament. And as you can see, this one requires five floaters. So that's a new requirement as well. You have to have those floaters before you can play certain cards. This one gives um, one credit per city in play. Okay, that's a point. So, a scrapping Expedition. This is a Venus tag with the event of tag, of course. And this one will raise the Venus one step and add three floaters to any Venus card. And while we're at it, why, why not check out the new board? Because we have a new board. And let's put it out here. This is the Venus board. We're going to have the marker here, of course. And this is that symbol there, which is the Venus track. And this one is not mandatory to uh, end the game. You don't have to do this. But if you do it, you will get certain benefits. You will get a TR, but you will also get, like here you will get to draw a card, here you will get to raise uh, your TR uh, again, and so on. There's new cities out here as well, that's in this deck that you can build. And you can also do a new standard project. You can spend 15 credits to erase the Venus track. Kind of cool. Also another new thing, unless they removed it, but I think it's in here, is the fact that you will have Whoever passes, let's see if it's in here. Um, I don't know, I think it's in there. Whoever passes first, um, no, not whoever passes, whoever is the first player, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's my own idea. I'm going to go into that in the ideas video. I want something to happen when you pass first, yeah. Anyway, whoever is the first player, was the first player for a generation, then gets to choose one parameter, the uh, heat, the uh, oxygen, or the Venus track that gets raised. Now, they don't get the benefit, but that could be a way to sort of set yourself up for uh, I mean, preventing your opponents or setting yourself up for being able to play a card that raises heat two steps, for example, which will get you the bonus of the ocean type, something like that. Okay, but it's also it, the, the whole idea behind it, I think, is to uh, speed the game up because otherwise the game would be. Uh, perhaps longer because people will spend will do this instead of the normal parameters for for ending the game So let's just jump in here randomly and look at forced precipitation uh, Okay, so for two credits you can do an action 
to add a floater to this card or you can spend two floaters here to increase that Venus step, uh, Venus meter one step. Kind of cool. Um, and here we have a mining quote. Now this one requires that you have played a Venus tag before and an Earth tag and a Jovian tag. So that's kind of hard to play this one, but it's cheap on the other hand. And you get to steel production. That's kind of cool. Here we have one that has another requirement, max 10% in the Venus here. So you have to play it before we get over here. Or over there actually um, and this one just raises Venus steps two steps okay and we have a terraforming contract this is cool <laughs> I didn't know that this was in the game this has a requirement of you having at least 24 terraforming rating that's really cool so you can play this like the first uh, generation and that will give you four production in credits so yeah and here we have some Venus soils. This is a plant tag and the Venus tag. And this will get you plant production. It will add two microbes to another card and it will raise the Venus track. So there's the theme of the whole uh, new expansion. I'm so you know excited to get into this and play it. But there's one more thing, or two more things actually. This is kind of cool. This are, these are my, a milestone and an award that you can add to your normal game. So you can be a venophile, <laughs> that's a fun word. Uh, let's see, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna check it just to be sure so I don't tell you uh, something wrong because I did play this uh, as a prototype, so um, they might have changed things. All right, so this new award, the venophile, is, um, oh, it's, oh yeah, 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 it works in addition to existing awards. So you have this, you know, the normal awards, depending on which side you play your Hanover's Elysium, or if you play the base game, and then you have this as well. And this, um, okay, so it's a contest for the most Venus tags in play. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You wanna have as many of these as possible to win this award. Um, and the milestone, then you need to have seven floater uh, units or, or resources uh, to get to claim this milestone. And this is, of course, also, I think, in addition to yeah, yeah, it's an addition to the other milestones you have. So it's, it's, it really changes up the game a bit. I, I really think this is so cool. Okay, and finally, we have the corporations. This might be the thing that I'm looking forward to the most, just because it's so cool for, for uh, getting new corporations. So we have Aphrodite, 47 credits to start, a plant production. They seem to be plant-oriented. Um, and the effect they have is whenever Venus is terraformed one step, which is the meter here, you get two credits. So if you, if you are the Aphrodite, of course you'll have more interest in terraforming Venus. Then we have Celestic, um, they start with 42 credits. They also start, oh, that's your first action, reveal cards from the deck until you have revealed two cards with a floater icon on it. So you're going to go through the deck and find uh, the scorch with the floater icon, and I'm not finding any just now. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> and you take those two cards into your hand and discard the rest. And you also get one VP per three floater on this card, as you can see here. So now you want to have cards that adds floaters to another card and add it to the corporation card. Uh, also, you can do an action, which is to add a floater to any card, this one or another one. And uh, yeah, all of these give you Venus tag, I think. Oh, not all of them. Let's look at this. Here we have Manutech. And this one is the only one I played actually. Uh, okay, so here you start with some steel, 35 bucks, and you have the effect. For each step, you increase the production of a resource, including this. You also gain that resource. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the guys uh, that I played with had this one. This is really cool. So you raise your plant production by one, you get a plant. I mean, it doesn't sound that huge, but it could be. I mean, for titanium, for for titanium, we don't do that that many times, maybe. But let's say you, you have uh, Soletta, which gives you seven heat production. You will get seven heat right away. I mean, it's, that's almost one uh, heat increase, right? So that's cool. You have the Morning Star Incorporated. We start with 50 credits as your first action. You reveal cards from the deck until you have a reveal three Venus tag card, and that's. That's a lot of these, I think. Um, you take those cards into your hand, discard the rest, and the effect here is your Venus requirements are minus and plus to your choice in each case. 
Oh yeah, so if you have a car, this works like the, what is it, the Intergalactic Cinema, I think. So if you have a car that requires you to have 10 in Terraform rating on the Venus, you could be at 8. Um, oh, you could be at 6 and still do it. So if you have this one, not my favorite type of effect, but some people like it. Then we have Viron. Uh, you start with 48 uh, credits. You have action here. Use a blue card action that has already been used this generation. Wow, that is huge. I mean, imagine there's some, you know, if you go check out, uh, um, I'm gonna do some promotion here in the middle of everything, just uh, spontaneously, but if you go check out my, you click the link there, check out my uh, top five uh, action cards. There's a bunch of good cards there. If you can do that action another time in the same generation, that is, that is just amazing. Wow. Uh, oh, I want to play these. All right, so, so that was the five new corporations. We have the new milestone, the new uh, uh, board, a bunch of new cards. These are going to add to all those cards that are already in the game. And we have the new track. And uh, oh yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just want to play this. And uh, I think I will we get to play this actually on Saturday. I'm, I'm hoping so, at least uh, in a few days here. So that is Venus next for Terraform Mars, the new expansion. And I think, um, you know, if, if you did check out my top 10 games or games and expansions that I was looking forward to at Essence Spiel 2017, this was really high. So, um, yeah, this is just so amazing. So much fun. Okay, thank you so much. I'm not gonna go on about this because I could just talk about Terraform Mars for another hour, but that, let's just have this as an unboxing video. <laughs> so, so, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco, follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find us at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.